Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be discussing the topic windows in TCP. I have given an illustration here for the send window and the receive window. But before I explain you the different uh, components in each of these window windows, what I would like to tell you is TCP supports bidirectional, bidirectional communication. The sender and the receiver can send the data to each other. The sender and the receiver can send the data. That means the sender should also have a send window and the receive window. This already I told you when I was explaining you the services of the transport layer protocol, uh, transmission control protocol. I said it mean the sender maintains two buffer. What is that sender buffer and the receiver buffer? Because the uh, the client can become a sender as well as the receiver. That's why it should have what the sender buffer and the receiver buffer. And the server can also become what both the sender and the receiver. So it should also have two buffers, sender buffer and the receiver buffer. So each of this entity will maintain two buffers. But to understand the concept of the send window and the receive window, we will take the send buffer. That means the send window from the sender side and the receive window from the receiver side. So, if we take this and we assume that it is a unidirectional communication, then it is possible for us to understand the concept for the send window and the receive window. But remember, once again I am telling, if it is a send window, it is the window size of the sender. But sender is also having another window called as receive window. But at time being, we are assuming what a unidirectional communication and we will just show the window size at the sender, the window size at the receiver. That is why this topic I have made into two parts here in the on the whiteboard. One is the send window, that means the window size at the sender. The another one is the receive window, that is the uh, window size at the receiver. So, let me tell you this window size or the window at the sender and the receiver definitely it consists of bytes tcp is a byte oriented protocol all the bytes are actually uh, getting transmitted from the sender to the receiver so here we always give for each of the byte a byte number so with respect to the byte number the concepts of the send window and the receive window can be understood so here sender, receiver. Why I am writing this is to tell you that the sender TCP protocol suit application layer, transport layer. At the receiver side, application layer and transport layer. These two layers I have to definitely write here so that when I am explaining you about the bytes, I would like to tell you from where the bytes are uh, pushed and from where the bytes are pulled. So, then th it becomes very clear to you the concept for this. Now, first let us look at the send window. Send window is what? The window size at the sender. What is? What do you mean by window size? Now, the sender when it is receiving the bytes from the application layer, okay, the bytes that are getting or that are sent to the transport layer, the transport layer maintains a buffer here to store all the bytes. This I have shown you what in my previous video session that it is maintaining a buffer we are showing it with a circular array and each of this location will have a byte the same thing okay if i am not connecting the two ends i am putting it here in this form okay that is what the buffer so what does this buffer consist of it consists of bytes only but we have to give a clear in indication here the different Categories of bytes. Now, what do you mean by categories of bytes? See, if this is the uh, buffer that is there at the sender side, first thing is you just assume for the sake of simplicity, I have given the byte number 201 and the last byte number is 300. 201 to 300. So, let us assume that the buffer capacity is 100 bytes. So, this buffer which I am showing here, it can hold only 100 bytes. In that 100 bytes, byte number 201 to 260. These bytes are sent already. That means the sender, it has got 100 bytes capacity and the first byte number is 201 in this and it has sent from 201 to 260. Who has sent? The sender has sent this 201 to 260. That means 60 bytes is sent to the receiver. That, but the sender is still holding those bytes here in the window in the buffer. The reason is for these bytes which the sender has sent, still it has not received the acknowledgement. 
until it receives the acknowledgement it will keep those bytes in the buffer that's why the, i am am indicating here with this from 201 to 260 we call those bytes as outstanding bytes and we write here the uh, explanation sent but not acknowledged that's the reason this 201 to 260 is still residing in the buffer what about uh, the remaining 261 to 300 40 bytes 40 bytes are already what the, these 40 bytes they are collected from the application layer and it is there in the buffer and still it has not sent it is there in the buffer only so at the sender side the capacity is 100 bytes out of that the sender has sent 60 bytes the remaining 40 bytes it is still holding in the buffer but it has not sent to the receiver now it cannot what uh, first thing is once it receives the acknowledgement only then it may start sending these bytes the reason is very clear it should have sufficient space also to store the acknowledgement I, I you mean to say the store the bytes that comes from the application layer that is the reason the complete bytes are now getting filled in this buffer and what has happened before 201 see 201 200 byte number was already sent and it has got acknowledged that means it will get deleted from the buffer it will no more store in the buffer that bytes that have got acknowledged so from this before this 201 all those bytes are acknowledged that is why those are not shown here in the buffer and the buffer capacity is itself the window size at the sender side window size is what the complete buffer capacity so next is what the remaining 40 bytes we are writing here bytes that can be sent still the sender has not sent what about 301 it can bytes that cannot be sent the reason is definitely there is no place to store in the buffer from 301 if the application layer is sending it cannot be still included in the buffer what about the receive window size now come see the same byte numbers i'm using here to explain the receive window now at the receiver receiver is also maintaining a buffer okay whatever bytes have come here from this the sender all the bytes get what stored in this buffer the same thing i am showing it here in this example allocated buffer is from here to here so what is that first byte number 201 and the last byte number 300 allocated buffer in this case is also what 100 bytes allocated buffer is 100 bytes now in this 100 bytes you have to see the different categories of bytes first one is from 201 to 260 bytes received and acknowledged waiting to be consumed by the process so this receiver has received bytes from 201 to what 260 this is what we had sent we have told no in, in the earlier the sender has said to uh, sender has sent 201 to 260 so that means now i have to show in the allocated buffer also the receiver has received from 200 to 260 but still it is lying in the buffer means this application layer has not yet taken these bytes from the buffer until the application layer collects those bytes it will be stored in the buffer only at the receiver side and the receiver cannot send to the application layer because the mode of transfer here is pulling if you remember only the application layer will pull the bytes at the receiver side so we call it as a pulling process here it is what the sender the application layer will send the bytes to the transport layer it is a push here then the sender will send to the receiver it is a push here but at this stage the application layer will receive the bytes that means it will pull the bytes we call it as a pull operation that is the reason this 201 to 260 is still in the buffer and it, it is not consumed by the process hence the receiver has to hold those bytes in the buffer that is why we are writing bytes received and acknowledged waiting to be consumed by the process what about 261 to 300 bytes that can be received now these are not the bytes that are received only these are the empty locations from where 261 to 300 so this 40 locations are still available with the receiver it can receive another 40 bytes also and whatever is the capacity to receive the bytes that becomes the send window receive window size now here you have to be very careful not the allocated buffer is receive window size only the empty that means this is the capacity and this many bytes can be received from the receiver that becomes what the receive window size whereas in the send window size you have seen the complete allocated buffer itself is the send window size but at the receiver side only the bytes okay only the capacity only the, this many locations are available at the receiver that becomes the 
receive window size that's why i am clearly indicating here from here to here bytes that can be received from the sender and you call it as receive window size and you give the name as rwnd popularly in uh, all most of the textbooks the uh, word used is rwnd and how to calculate rwnd rwnd is equal to buffer size minus number of waiting bytes to be pulled very clear from the uh, diagram also buffer size buffer size in this case is what 100 minus of number of waiting bytes to be pulled from 201 to 260 still the application layer has not pulled the bytes so 60 bytes has to get pulled 100 minus 60 40 okay so 40 bytes is what the receive window size rwnd in this example so this is what we have to show clearly the different bytes that are placed in the buffer and what is uh, before this 201 you can see 199 200 bytes that have already been pulled by the process so the application layer has already been has already pulled these bytes no need to store in the buffer definitely it will go away from the buffer also but these bytes have not yet been pulled the remaining still the uh, the receiver is having this many these many locations to receive from the sender fine so this is how you have to explain the send window and the receive window and one more thing yes i wanted to tell you from 301 onwards what is that bytes that cannot be received from the sender why it cannot be received the capacity is only 40 bytes so it cannot receive the next byte number 301 similarly here also look here bytes that have already been pulled by the process 200 it comes out from the buffer so this is out of the buffer this is also locked out of the buffer it cannot receive so its capacity is only 40 bytes this is what we used to i used to tell whenever a segment is sent from the server to the client that means from the receiver to the sender or from one uh, i mean to say from one party to another party each party will advertise its window size capacity and that is one of the field look, uh, present in the tcp header window size so in that window size only it is mentioning its capacity in previous tcp connection data transfer also i have shown you one example the server has sent with a window size initially with size of 5000 bytes isn't it but after that what has happened the sender the client has sent two segments each consisting of 1000 bytes that means 2000 bytes the client has sent but the server was having a capacity of 5000 it has received 2000 so next time did you observe the window size became 3000 because it has already taken this 2000 bytes now the capacity is what only 3000 bytes at the receiver side so that is called as the receive window size so the receiver is dictating to the sender my capacity is this much you have to send data bytes that can hold in my buffer hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care